might have made a little change something like three inches or so <laughs> every time I get my hair cut lately I keep going shorter and shorter and the trend is three inches so next time I get my hair cut the three inch mark could you know kind of go a little higher we'll see I'm kind of liking the lob look lately everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jessica and I make lifestyle beauty and fitness related videos today's video is my January favorites and for number one I'll give you a little hint it is the color of my shirt and it's one of these I, I've been drinking about 16 ounces of warm lemon water every day for the past month or so and I have noticed quite the improvement in my energy levels and just overall feeling better. So what I do is I start my morning with 20 ounces from this guy. Right away when I wake up in the morning I'll have my 20 ounces and then I'll make some warm lemon water. I'm going to insert a clip so you can see what I'm, I do for my process. And what I'll do is I'll cut either half a lemon or a quarter lemon and I will squeeze it with my lemon squeezer into a cup and then I will just fill it with warm water and it looks kind of bubbly but it's not soap it's just how um, that works but then I will have that and once I'm done with that then I will make myself some coffee or tea or something. I read an article I'll actually link it down below um, it's from Wellness Mama. I don't know if you've heard of her. She Her name's Katie and she has a podcast and she's got really good stuff so you should go check her out. But anyway, so her article talks about different reasons to have water, first of all, in the morning and then also to have uh, lemon water and why that's beneficial. So for the water, especially if you can have warm water, the idea is that your body goes eight, nine hours without water or fluids and during that time your liver is very active and processing a lot of good stuff. So once you wake up, it's really important to hydrate yourself and to get your body just kind of going for the morning reason it's a good idea to add lemon to your water is because there is vitamin C and potassium in it and those are really good to kind of get things kick-started. Vitamin C is helpful in helping with your immunity and maintaining healthy weight and I'm gonna put the article down below so I don't misquote anything but I know that in the past month for January I have had this every day and I just feel so good after I have it so that is my first favorite so the second thing that I would consider my favorite for January is actually an app on your phone and it's called <laughs> it's called think dirty and the idea is that we have a lot of products around us that have toxins or are made with things that aren't good for our bodies and this app allows you to kind of get a better glimpse at that. Be very careful when you use this app because if you start scanning everything you have, you're going to want to throw everything out, but don't do that quite yet. You have to kind of balance everything. It's all in moderation. You slowly get out obviously the worst things first, um, but you slowly replace the products that you have with uh, better products that are a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to show you how this app works and I'm going to start by kind of making my way into my next favorite. I have the app right here on my phone. All you have to do is scan an item and I'm actually going to scan something that I have recommended in the past and that is the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. So all you do is just scan your barcode. If you can't find it by barcode, then you can just search it, which is nice because sometimes you'll be scanning something that's like a two fluid ounces, but the only thing they have in there is that's been scanned is like five or something. So that helps you kind of find it better. So once I scanned that lotion, I realized it is a seven out of 10 on the toxicity rating and it'll list different reasons why it says it's toxic including the ingredients and it also gives you their picks of other alternatives. For this specific lotion the rating comes mostly from the fact that they use ingredients that are carcinogenic and I don't want that around. It's good to keep in mind when you're going through your products that having one or two things that have a few ingredients in them that aren't the best isn't going to kill you right from that. 
So you have to take into consideration the idea of moderation and slowly incorporating new cleaner products into your lifestyle while you kind of phase out the other products. The idea is that if you have one of these items in your life and you're exposed to it, it's not going to give you cancer just like that. But when you have multiple items that are high in the, you know, carcinogenic rating or have other toxins that have other effects, when you have multiple of those, then you're more likely to see side effects from those toxins. So I do want to encourage you to take your time, kind of go slow, don't break the bank by going out and replacing all of your beauty products, but do just be aware of what you're using and how it's going to affect your body. My third favorite for the month of January is this lotion by A Cure. I found it through using that app and it rates at a three instead of a seven. This is an energizing body lotion with mandarin orange and argon extract. And I will use this if I shower in the morning to midday. If I shower in the evening, I use a lavender lotion just because I don't want the energizing aspect of this lotion to wake me up too much. And I just keep in consideration what kind of things are gonna help me sleep better. But this lotion I've been using every day, it's actually about to here now, and it makes your skin feel very soft and it sinks into the skin pretty well and you just feel clean after using it, if that makes sense. So a cure body lotion. So I found my fourth favorite for January using that app after I had searched things like this Dr. Teal's uh, Epsom salt soap or even my body wash I was using and looking at it this rates at a 10 a 10 like that's just, it doesn't get worse than that so I quickly got online to find which items I could replace anything I was finding that was a 10 those are the things I started replacing first and I came to find these Dr. Bronner's soaps. You can get them for $2, the small size, at Target, so you can test different scents to see which one you like better. This one rates at a zero. And this is a pure Castile soap. You can use it for body wash, you can use it for cleaning even, and there's all different things you can use it for. So I've picked up the lavender. This is another one that I'll use if I shower towards the evening or the afternoon because I want to use lavender instead of an energizing scent. And then I also picked up the citrus. And this one smells nice and fresh. It's a good one for the morning to wake you up. And I was curious as well at about the peppermint. I would use this peppermint if I wasn't feeling good. It's, it's pretty strong as far as peppermint goes and it could help you if you're congested and you use it as a body wash in the shower and it even could help you if you have a stomach ache because peppermint is good for that. So I am definitely excited about that find for um, a replacement of the other things I was using. Since I'm becoming more aware of what's in my products, I think it all started with becoming more aware of what's in my food, I decided that it was finally time to switch deodorants. And I've been so nervous because everyone talks about how you go through this stage of bad BO and trying to find the right clean deodorant for you. And I luckily found a good one right off the bat. I, it's been a month, so maybe there's you know something coming as far as adjusting to a uh, deodorant without aluminum. And so I scanned my secret clinical response strength, whatever it is, and it's a nine on the toxicity rating. So I decided it's finally time to get rid of deodorants with aluminum and just the gunk that's in them. So that brings me to my fifth favorite for January, and that is this Tom's deodorant. It has no aluminum. This one's unscented. I haven't, haven't been brave enough to try the scents yet, so I think the next round I'll grab a scent. And then it also has no artificial fragrance or preservatives, and it says what's inside matters, and there's more on it you can read. Um, this is scanned at a three on the toxicity rating, and while it, you know, a zero is ideal, I'm slowly working my way towards that, and I think it's important just to kind of get started and get going with it. So those are all my favorites for January. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and then I'll know that you like this kind of video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel and then you get to see more videos like this. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!